Hello viewers, in today's lecture we are going to uh, solve some problems uh, related to uh, Lagrange's identity in vector algebra, right? The, the statement of uh, Lagrange's identity is if uh, A and B are any two vectors, then the square of the uh, magnitude of A cross B uh, is equal to uh, the square of the magnitude of vector A multiplied square of the magnitude of vector B minus uh, square of the uh, scalar product of vector A and vector B. Now, if we take this term to this side, then we can we can write the this statement like this. Clear? So let us uh, prove this identity. Now here we have vector A and vector B. OA is vector A and uh, OB is vector B and let theta be the angle between vector A and vector B. Now the uh, dot product or the scalar product of A and B is defined like this and the cross product of uh, vector a and vector b is uh, defined like this a b sin theta n cap or eta cap so here i am writing uh, for a for the mm, the magnitude of vector a and b for magnitude of vector b right okay now uh, here uh, from equation 2 uh, if we take the magnitude of both sides, we have uh, we have the um, magnitude of uh, uh, a cross b is equal to a b sine theta, right? Because the magnitude of n cap or eta cap is one because this is a unit vector uh, which is perpendicular to the plane containing. Uh, vector a and vector b now from 1 and 3 now from 1 and 3 if we square uh, both sides of uh, 1 and uh, squaring both sides of equation 3 and then adding we get see if we uh, square both sides we get uh, uh, vector a dot vector b whole square is equal to a square b square cos square theta and if we uh, square both sides of equation 3 then we have uh, the square of uh, a cross b the magnitude of a cross b and here we have a square b square and sin square theta now if we add both these equations then we get uh, a dot b square plus magnitude of uh, uh, a cross b square is equal to a square b square cos square theta plus a square b square sin square theta and if we take a square b square common we get uh, here cos square theta plus sin square theta now this is a square b square times 1 that is a square b square so this is the required identity right so the square of uh, the dot product of a and b plus the square of the magnitude of a cross b is equal to a square times b square now viewers uh, let us take uh, these two questions uh, for uh, uh, for uh, explaining uh, this lagrange's identity so in the first question we are given the uh, magnitude of vector a is 2 magnitude of vector b is 5 and magnitude of a cross b is 8 we have to find a dot b right so here uh, we will substitute all these values so uh, we have 
here uh, a cross b a mod square plus uh, a dot b uh, square is equal to uh, magnitude of a square and then we have magnitude of b square so this is the identity which we are going to use for solving these two problems so here we have to find a dot b and uh, um, the mod of a cross b is given so we, here we have a t square plus uh, this is a dot b square and magnitude of vector a is 2 so it is 2 square times 5 square right so this is uh, a dot b square is equal to this is 4 this is 25 so uh, this is 100 so we have 100 minus taking this uh, 8 square to this side we have 64 and we have 36 so therefore a dot b is equal to square root of 36 right now now the square root of 36 is plus minus 6 right so therefore uh, the required value of uh, a dot b is plus minus 6 clear now let us come to the second question here uh, we are given uh, a dot b right so uh, where we have to find here the magnitude of a cross b so we have uh, uh, magnitude of uh, a cross b uh, square plus here we have 60 square then we have 13 square times uh, 5 square right so this can be written as uh, uh, the magnitude of a cross b square is equal to 13 square times 5 square minus 60 square now solving this expression 13 square times 5 square minus 60 square uh, we get uh, here uh, 4225 minus 3600 0, 0, that is equal to 625 so therefore uh, the magnitude of uh, a cross b is square root of 625 and that is equal to 25 so where's the value of magnitude of a cross b is 25 now viewers uh, let us take this problem here uh, we have the magnitude of a as uh, uh, square root of 26 and uh, the magnitude of uh, b is 7 and uh, the magnitude of a cross b is 35 we have to find a dot b so here uh, we'll substitute these values so we have uh, 35 uh, square because uh, this value is 35 here plus uh, we have a dot b uh, square and then we have the square of the magnitude of a uh, vector that is square root of 26 square then we have 7 square right now this is uh, uh, 1 2 2 5 plus uh, a dot b uh, square and this is 26 times 49 now uh, 26 times 49 is 1274 so therefore uh, a dot b square is equal to 1274 minus 1225 and this is, is this is equal to 49 so therefore uh, a dot b is uh, equal to square root of 49 and that is equal to plus minus 7 right so therefore the value of a dot b is plus minus 7 